Hey, what's going on, Comfort Killer? Stacey A. Cross here. There is no E in my name. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this video session. This thing is long overdue. And I'll tell you why it's long overdue, this video, this particular video, because guess what? We've been following this template. I'm telling you, we're going to get ourselves in problems if we continue following this template. And the template is... Hey, first of all, you got to you gotta go get my book. Let me just grab it. Grab one of these bad boys here. Hey, you got to go get my book, man. The Comfort Killers, Your Journey to Success, How to Change Your Life Using Tools You Already Have. And, you know, it coincides with this video as well because everything that you want, right, the desires, the mindset you want, you know, the, the, material, the materialistic things that you want, car, car house, you know, pay off your mom's bills. It, it doesn't matter. There's no wrong in that. It's already inside you. The attainment is already inside you, but we're foggy. All right. We've been taught that we can't. We've been taught limited, limiting beliefs. It's already inside of us. Like we don't get smarter, right? You know, the kid that sits in the back of the room that thinks they're dumb. You know, that they think they have dyslexia, ADD, they can't learn. You know, they, they just, they've been, to, they've been told that they don't have it in them. So they go to school, they sit all the way in the back. See, one thing with my, I got Jamaican parents, bro. They told me I better not sit in the back or I get a whoop, a whooping. So I sat in the front all the time. My mom was, <laughs> my mom was at the school every September when school came back and came back around all the way up to goddamn eighth grade, she was the, peeking in the door. Where are you sitting, Stace? I'm up in the front. But I understand, you know, we sit in the back. We don't think we're good enough. We don't understand the math. We don't understand the English, but, you know. And then one day, the teacher comes up and says, hey, someone do this thing on the board. Calls on you. You ain't had your hand up. Teacher gonna call on you. Your turn. You go up, you figure out the problem or, you know, separate the sentence or whatever they had in English, the syntax and all that. And you run back and sit down and then the teacher says, my God, that's 100% correct. How did you do that that fast? You know what I mean? How did you do that that fast? And then the teacher says, man, stand back up. This kid is smart. This kid is intelligent. This kid is a genius. Then what happens? The kid almost takes, absorbs that in. These crazy beliefs, almost a little embarrassing to understand that somebody else is saying, hey, you're a genius. You are fantastic. You're smart. You're intelligent. Intelligent. You got what it takes. And then guess what? You take that and you're like, whoa. Maybe I do. And you immediately, right there, go from a, a C and D student to an A and B student. Why? Because someone said that you got it in you already. Now, they didn't go ahead and feed you new knowledge, new data. They just told you that you're great. For the mere fact of telling one and then one accepting that belief and now eradicating any limiting belief then all of a sudden you have superhuman capabilities, superhuman powers. You're going around, psh, psh, hitting that. Psh, psh, the, the, the. I don't know why I'm doing psh, psh, when it's a spider web. You know, like Peter Parker. Superhuman. So, but that's what I'm saying is that you've been told some other thing, you, you know, and that's what the Comfort Killers is all about. We deprogram, okay, and then reprogram unlearn and then learn what you already know so we're not adding new stuff with this it's a small book it's 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 it could be easily read in a day and i got an audio book as well so if you want to purchase a copy of this so you could have it if you have amazon prime you know you're getting this by tomorrow okay so uh get a copy of this or listen to the audio book i would do both that's what i do when i buy a new book I get the book and then I subsequently get the audio book. So when I drive around, commute, hit the gym, then, you know, I got it all around. Okay. 
So the comfort killer is your journey to success. How to change your life using tools you already have. So just understand that. I mean, you don't have to learn anything else. Okay. You don't have to add more. When you talk about growth, when you talk about self-discovery, when you talk about transformation, it, it comes by the way of taking away. <laughs> Do you understand it? By the way of eliminating. That's, how, that's how, what happens when we transform. We eliminate the garbage, the toxicity, right? Toxicity. We eliminate that. We eliminate those beliefs. We eliminate the agreements. We eliminate the behaviors. We drop. We actually lighten up in order to increase awareness. Do you get that? See, a lot of people think that they have to add more, bring more in, bring more stuff in. But unless you take the fogginess out, you're not going to drop it. So I want you to drop that self that doesn't believe in shit, that doesn't believe in their selves. And, and this book will help you do it. It's practical. It's actionable. That's how I wanted to make it. Look, and my face is on the jammy. Uh, on the jammy. <laughs> I, I can never do this thing. Hold on. Hold on. Let's see if I can. Ah, ah can't do it. All right. Um, so today I want to talk about taking on other people's templates. The internet's going to fool you. The internet, you know how many times I go on YouTube, I'm trying to watch freaking Strauss or listen to some music or whatever. And, uh, some guy pops up and says, Hey, do you want to know how to make $300,000 in a weekend? Hey, you there, are you a coach? I don't know if you get those videos, depending on, you know, I'm targeted for anything entrepreneurship. So Ty Lopez, all those boys. I mean, some guy in Australia is hitting me up now. Um, give me five seconds. Give me 10 seconds. And I get it. You know, some people need to see uh, the area, right? The, the, the area, the environment, the cars, the garage, you know, that motivates you. And, and money should motivate you. I have nothing wrong with money being your motivation, but I'm dead wrong with the template people are using. I was speaking to on my podcast. If you haven't listened to the last podcast, I don't know why you're waiting this long. You need to go over to thecomfortkillers.com right now. The podcast features Nick Holiday. Nick Holiday is the VP, Vice President of Customer Success um, for Success Engine. Success Engine uh, is a partner for Infusionsoft with Infusionsoft. I have Infusionsoft. I migrated over to Infusionsoft. If you're an entrepreneur, if you're a marketer, if you're into direct response, whatever, you know about this, okay? But I, I went over to Infusionsoft, so I needed a, a, a success partner to help me understand this new product and, you know, to grow my business. And he gets on the podcast and he says something that I always say. And, and this one thing, and, and <laughs> I always say, because I know it's true. See, here's what, here's what I did. Here's a little tip that I did when I first came on, I was like, okay, how am I going to break ground in this new industry? And it's a flooded industry. It's a noisy industry. It's self-improvement. Self-improvement is a, is a, is a good industry to be in, but guess what? People don't want to be improved. I don't know about you. I want to be improved. That's why I named the company, the comfort killers. That's why I get out of my comfort zone, learning new things and doing new things, doing things that I would never think, um, possible before in the old state of mind. And I love self-improvement. I love discovering myself. I love learning more. I love, you know, um, just being at my best greatness, you know, like I love striving for the best version of myself. That's just how I am. I know comfort killers are like that. You know, when someone says that they, Hey, they're taking a class on this subject to kind of heighten their abilities in it. I freaking, I like shit my pants when people like, cause I love it. I just love self-improvement. So I said, okay, I'm going to build this company. I'm going to start this company. I didn't know what the first thing to do was. If I had listened to these internet guys, you know what I would have done? I wouldn't even have a website. You know what I would have done? I would have got me a quick Facebook page and just went live all the time. And that's fun. Okay. Again, there's different avenues for different people. And then I probably would have went on ClickBank, got a product, been a coming affiliate. And I'm telling you, people are making tons of dough. 
doing that. It's just not me. You know, I want to build a business. I said, I want to build a business. I see offices, you know, I see, uh, platforms. I see so many books. I see partnerships. I see media. I see so many things in, in my imagination. It's limitless, you know, so I can't just limit myself. So, but if I listen to these internet guys, that's what's going to happen. So what I did, and here's a quick note, and I challenge you to do this. All your favorite internet guys and gals, okay? Some of them are fucking garbage. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even going to lie, and I'm not hating, but some of them need to stop, okay? Um, just do me a favor. Go back in their blog, like when they first started, you know? Go back and, and see when these guys started. Because what you're essentially doing is taking their effect. So if someone says, hey, listen, I got a Shopify store. I want to teach you how to do, um, get as much money as I get 30,000 a month for my Shopify store. It's something that they've done previously, like way back, right? Uh, who knows if it's working now? So they're showing you their, there are things inside and you're like, whoa, when is this? So my question is, cause I'm like very analytical. I'm like, when did you, when did you actually stop doing that and turn into a coach? When did you actually stop doing that and turn into a consultant, uh, a consultant? Because what you're going to get is the effect, the after product. Someone already created it, made it, and now they're selling it, but you never, you're not there for the test for the failures that they had, right? They're not going to tell you that all these failures, all these ups and downs, these, I mean, lose, lost everything, lost everything, crawled back, bankruptcy, 25 million down the drain, who knows, divorce, all of these other things. You're not going to get that. You're going to get the pretty book. Okay. With the beautiful cover at the end. And you're going to want to duplicate the end product, but that end product came from years of discovery years, years, bro. You know, so you're, you're essentially temp making a template off of an effect. Okay. And I know sometimes that works and you're going to say, Hey, Stacy, well, what do you, what should you do? Well, I'm saying, Hey, stick to the freaking program. Okay. Stick to what you know, the boring shit that works, because I'll tell you what the fly by shiny object pie in the sky the shit doesn't work and it doesn't last long. All right, so let's let's even go back in time. Let's go back in time, okay? Right now, I know of, let's say Ty Lopez. When did Ty Lopez start? Go back in time. Pat Flynn, go back in time. Stacey A. Cross, go back in time. It's three years. Okay, I'll tell you right now. So, you know, it's, I want, I'm growing with you. That's the difference with me and everyone else. You know, me, Theo, um, the entire, the comfort killers clans, we are growing and developing and teaching you at the same damn time. So there's no, this, this thing here. And then there's so many years as a gap and you're like, well, what did you do in those years? A lot of people don't even know how to, you know, how to add up their, their receipts or, or have an accountant or go to a lawyer for this or trademark their product, but yet they want to be like, oh, all I got to do is bust like all these videos on Instagram. Then I'm in a business. No, the, no, you're not. Okay. I'm gonna be real with you. No, you're not. You got to understand that it's the boring things that you will not see from these internet guys. And I'm again, I'm not, <laughs> I love everyone for doing what they do, helping the world and changing it and, and changing themselves. I love that. I love business. I love commerce. Um, if you say, Hey Stacy, who are you? I'm a capitalist as well. You know, like I love anything that revolves and moves economies and shift mindsets. I love all of that, but I'm telling you this, the boring things does not sell. Why? I'm not telling you how to build a business, maybe form an LLC. Okay. The first step, what are you going to do? You got to protect yourself. What are some tax benefits for you? Okay. Cause that's too boring. You want to go straight to the end. They're at the end. They're doing it right now. They have, they are flourishing. You know what I mean? So how many videos are you going to put up 
on YouTube and on Instagram and on Facebook. And you're in all these media channels and outlets, entrepreneurs. You're in all these media channels. You're spreading yourself thin. You don't have a crew behind you. Okay, because I guarantee that the, the, the people that you're trying to admire and follow have a crew behind them. And not only do they have the crew behind them, all they have to do is say cheese, right? Say cheese. And then somebody edits and puts it together and puts it up. Like, come on. Like, you can't t make a template out of that because you don't even have the power. You don't have the resources yet. So what do you do? Work on yourself. Work on the boring things, right? Get those numbers right. Right? Get the process right. Get a system behind it right. Get a back end right. Do it right, man. Because I've been also, I mean, me personally, like, hey, listen, I, I was I was fooled by the shiny object sometimes. You know, I'll be like, oh, wow, that's new. The algorithm change. What should I do? Okay, what should I, hey, I'm going to roll. No, like, stick to the script and understand that it takes time. I saw a post um, by Grant Cardone, and he was like, you know what? It took me 25 years for my overnight success. 25 years. 12 years for Gary V. 13 years. I mean, like, it's not overnight. You're seeing the effect now. Don't get mesmerized and, and fooled by the effect now. If you're trying to start a business, take those incremental steps to grow. Grow yourself. Develop yourself. Learn more. <laughs> delete more. You know, delete way more. Add a little bit. Learn that process, get your shit in order because that template is going to ruin you. All right. So, and, and, and I'm going to be real with that. And I, I hope that you appreciate this video because I'm, I'm going to just keep, I'm going to just be real with you and uh, let you know about that because I see a lot of people, you know, they just get into the hype of it and they're really not building businesses. All they're doing is just following somebody's template. Will it work? Maybe, you know, it works. Maybe it doesn't. But, you know, this game is already too too risky and the odds are already against you. Like, how many people start a business and within a year it, it's closed down? Money's gone. No cash flow, no revenue. Why? Because, hey, we shoot for, we're shooting for this thing and our, our ducks aren't in a row yet, you know? And I want the most of, for you, most for your family, go out there and do it. Go out there and crush it, you know? Go out there and get, a, and get it done. But I want you to make sure that you're following a principle here for business, okay? So, hey, if you like what I said here, I'll give you some details in this thing. Your journey to success, how to change your life using tools you already have. Do me a favor, challenge yourself. Go back in time. Go to the first page of a post, of an article from someone, you go to an old video, you know, go to a video on one of your favorite guys or gals, their first video on YouTube. Just go back in time. Just keep going to the next page, next page. Just find it and see that growth. See the progression because that's your aim. It's growth and progression. Okay. The shiny object theory, that shit does not work. Get it out of your head. Stop looking at the effect. Stop looking at the last end. It took 25 years. Okay. <laughs> So this, it's not a race, man. Life ain't a, life is not a race. Do it, do it right. And I'm telling you, you are going to be successful. So everything in the description, check out the Comfort Killers Academy. I have an academy over at thecomfortkillers.com right now. I want you to join. I want you to be a part of the group. I have some amazing talks coming up with a couple of my friends in my roller decks, my mental roller decks, my physical roller decks. Got a few of my friends, so I definitely want you to talk to them on a conference call that I have monthly. So go ahead and be a part of the academy. This is for real individuals, real entrepreneurs, those that want to really make a difference, not the not the fluffery and tomfoolery stuff, okay? We coming in and we're going out. I am Stacey A. Cross, and there is no E in my name. Until next time, comfort killer.